Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 3 with our series here. Go ahead and jump right into it by selecting a research. I'm wondering if I want to go for the better resources. Let's see. Uh, I did get the biofixture lab last time. I went for the aerostat platform too. We need to lower the heat level and we'll get some credits by doing that. I'm hoping that on top of lowering the heat level... Uh, as we build the the uh, the hydrogen processors, we start getting water and lowering the pressure even quicker. We'll offset that plus 10 heat with our minus 40 heat with the aerostat platform. So I either go for the hydrogen processor or a better resource. I've only got enough to do one or the other. Um, I mean, I'm still going to have to build the aerostat platform. That'll get me more money. It's going to start lowering the heat, which I need to do anyways. So I guess I'll go ahead and start researching the hydrogen processor. So we'll save getting the better resource for a little bit later. Let's go ahead and take a look at our outpost first. It's doing all right. Some of these should be pretty close. One day, 16 hours, four hours four hours so i've got two of them ending in four hours so i'll actually drop two more to replace those two Ooh. let me see what i got again for carbon right there for three hundred thousand. that's a pretty good carbon spot and if i can get one more really good carbon spot It's going to be too close. Nope, we can do it. Nice. So both of those are fine. They'll replace the two iron that I'm losing. It doesn't produce as much, but I'll be sure to watch and add or something. So that I can get the my, the um, increase, uh, increase in revenue, mining revenue. So minus four a minute. We've actually brought it down a pretty good amount. I just built this yesterday. Oh, the atmosphere is thinning. The atmosphere is thinning. So that is going to bring the temperature down. You know what? So I'm not going to try to bring the temperature down artificially. I think as I thin out the atmosphere, the temperature should drop down a lot. Uh, well, there's 403,000 of it uh, retained in the atmosphere, so. I sh that should get us to where we need to be almost. So just by bringing the atmosphere down, I can almost offset that. We've not even gotten it close. No water still. That's not doing anything. Oxygen is going up already already a quarter of the way there I'm gonna need to I see now that I'm going to need to build O2 filters pretty quickly we don't have the ability to research that just yet but we'll need the O2 filter so that puts us at if we take a look at new hope I can show you guys what I've got so I ended up building uh, uh, this here to get the plus nine population. Uh, I do have the two HAB units putting us at 650. I've got both biofixture labs. So that's lowering the pressure pretty good. And that's going to bring down the heat as well. So yeah, I'm actually not going to worry about bringing the heat down um, artificially. I think I'm just going to let it naturally come down as the pressure stabilizes. I'm going to keep these pumping. I... The oxygen is going to cap out very quickly, uh, way faster than the pressure goes down. So I'll need to build, I need, I need to be build the O2 filter so I can cancel out these two oxygens here when the time comes. I'll need two O2 filters at minus 10. So that'll be my next step. That's going to be the very next thing I do before I do anything else. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with Terra Genesis, and I talked about it in my Mars playthrough, but some of you guys might be watching this for the first time with Venus. And something to keep in mind is you always want to kind of try to cancel stuff out as you need it. So you don't want to let this get out of control. 
and you don't want to run into other stuff because if you start building other things that need to be canceled out, then it just it gets ahead of you too quickly, especially if money is an issue and money is always an issue early on uh, in the beginning of the game. So the 40 pressure, I'm not worried about canceling out. If at any point that pressure gets out of control, I'll just disable these. Uh, we got a long ways before the pressure goes down, so that's not going to be an issue, but that oxygen is going to catch up very quickly. Uh, that was just 24 hours or so. Um, I'm pretty sure I just built these yesterday, maybe the day before. I can't remember now when I had these built, but they're going to need to be canceled out before the week's over. So what does it cost for me to research the O2 filter? So I, okay, it's a million. So I know I got to be ready to do that. So even though I am getting the hydrogen processor, boy, I'm almost thinking now about getting the O2 filter. Let me see. The water will go up pretty fast. The heat would cancel out. I really do. I really do want to want to get some aerostat plat. Well, I really need to get these to bring the pressure down. It's the only thing that's going to do it quickly. But you know, I could just get more biofixture labs and then offset the oxygen. If I got a carbon fixer for 10 pressure it'll take away 40 but that's not so I could have four of these and I'd only lose I'd only lose minus 10 pressure but that would fix that would balance four of them and then I could just shut them all off when the pressure stabilized so I might want to research that so I might not get the hydrogen processor it might not be worth doing now I do need the water, but I could just throw some cloud seeders in or even do an aquifer network. That's plus 10 pressure too. I could run an aquifer network with the biofixture lab since it's plus 10 pressure. Um, the biofixture lab will still take pressure away. Not as quickly, but then I can start getting water levels up. I can just disable it when I'm ready. And same with the carbon fixer, which will offset all the oxygen of these. Once the oxygen stabled out, then I'll just build this. Yeah, I think I've got a plan. So let me actually cancel this. We should get a lot of that money back. So what do I go for first? Well, we definitely don't need the aquifer network just yet. The O2 filter, the carbon fixer is going to be the most important thing. So we'll actually research that. It doesn't save me enough money for silver, unfortunately. I could spend some Genesis points and get more money. I do have a lot. I do have a lot and I could watch some more ads. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking get the O2 filter, then get the carbon fixer. I'll build, it says 40 oxygen. I need oxygen going up. I'll build two more biofixture labs. I'll build the carbon fixer. I'll turn the carbon fixer off. Once oxygen reaches the correct level, I'll turn the carbon fixer on. That'll cancel out the plus 40 oxygen I'll have from the four biofixture labs. And then oxygen will be good. Pressure will still be going down, which I needed to do. And then I need to get water up and I can do the aquifer network which uh, will just give me water for the plus 10 pressure and I could just keep the biofixture labs on. They won't be as effective because it'll be the plus 10 pressure, but then I can start building water up. Then I'll just turn the aquifer network off. The pressure stabilizing will be the last thing. So these biofixture labs, I can build my entire economy around the biofixture labs trying to stabilize the planet. I will be able to get oxygen and water levels at a reasonable level before the biofixture labs are set up. And then the heat will just naturally go down from stabilizing the pressure. So this is perfect. I've got my game plan all set up. So I'll actually save, ooh, two free Genesis points. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna watch that. So um, basically what I'm gonna end up doing since I've got a little bit of money left over is I'm gonna end up building uh, probably just one more biofixture lab because I don't want, I don't want the, uh, oxygen levels to get too out of control. So probably just one more 
And then once I can get the other thing there that, that uh, cancels out the oxygen, I'll build the fourth one and build that at the same time. So that's what I'll end up doing. So I'll go ahead and show that off. We're at the end of this episode here, but I'll show that off next time so you guys can see it. And uh, then I'll show you how I set it all up. And if you're not understanding it, it will make a lot more sense once I'm able to show it. But I think I kind of explained how it's going to work. In my head, it seems like it's going to work really well. And I think it's going to get us to a stable planet very quickly. So uh, once we do that, then it'll just be about population and culture points. And uh, then we'll end the biosphere as well. But we're a long ways away from all of that. So I want to thank you all for joining me. If you're liking the episode, don't forget to leave a like. I see a lot of you guys really enjoying the series, so I'm glad to uh, glad to be doing it. And glad to see you guys here and seeing you guys enjoying this like you did the Mars one. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.